Have you ever wondered why an average worker in this country pays both income tax and national insurance? Well, we have, and we think it's unnecessarily complicated because ultimately both taxes go into the same pot and fund the same public services. It's also unfair. Why should workers pay two taxes compared with everyone else? Now, of course, we Conservatives want to cut taxes, but COVID and then the war in Ukraine meant the government had to step in and support the country with hundreds of billions of pounds, keep energy bills from skyrocketing and drive down inflation. At the start of this year, however, the economy has turned a corner and it means that we've been able to start cutting taxes. So in January, we cut national insurance from 12% to 10%, which meant a £450 tax cut for a typical person in work. Now we're going even further, cutting it again to 8%, another £450 tax cut, which takes the total tax cut this year to £900 for a typical person in work. That shows our plan is working. We said we'd halve inflation, it's down from 11% to 4%, and the OBR say it'll fall further to our target 2% a whole year early. We said we'd grow the economy, it's outperforming expectations, wages are rising faster than prices, and big businesses are investing here in British jobs. When it comes to reducing debt, the OBR says we're on track to see it start to come down. Because we're sticking with a plan in a budget for long-term growth, we've been able to deliver tax cuts and we're able to keep investing billions of pounds more in key public services like the NHS. That's how we deliver a brighter future for everyone in this country. What's the alternative? It's a Labour Party sniping from the sidelines, not able to say what they'd do because they don't have a plan. The only idea they've come up with costs 28 billion pounds extra a year. And after we pointed out just how damaging that would be for the economy, they tried to U-turn on it. But now it seems they're still committed to the policy, but because they don't have a plan, they can't tell you how they're going to pay for it. And we all know what that means. It means higher taxes, higher energy bills for you now, and higher borrowing, leaving your kids to pick up the tab later. And that means a worse future for you and your family.